I'm going to tie my caddis larva and starting off with a size 12 hook in the vise, I'm just going to add some additional weight so I can take some wraps here of my lead just up the hook shank at about the midway point. And then break it off, push everything together here. Now I can add in my thread. For that, I'm going to use an 8 uh, black. And so I'll just get it started in front of the lead, reach all the way back and then take my wraps through and break off the excess. I'll put a little tail in this and that's uh, going to be a white Antron yarn. So I'll take just a small section off here. I'm going to wet the end that I cut and that will just make it a little easier to tie in. Wrap it all the way down the bend in the hook and then back up. And then while I have it here, I'm going to go ahead and trim that off. Again, just a little bit of a, a tail there for suggestion. This rib uh, is going to be a 3x tippet. And so I'll just take that right into the side and back up. And then also for a rib, but it's going to act as the legs, I'm going to use a piece of dun or gray ostrich. And I'll trim off the end and tie it into the side as well. And then back up. And the backing for this is a thin skin. And this is an olive and black and it's in the specs as opposed to the mottled oak or anything like that. So I'm just going to cut a strip of it, peel off the back. I'm going to cut one end into just a slight V shape to help get this tied in. And I'll take that down to the tail and then I'll wrap it back up. And I'm going to leave it uh, right about the point in the hook. And I can dub in my body. And for that, I'm going to use a ice green, or I'm sorry, an ice dub caddis green. So I'll take a pinch. I'm not really looking to add a whole lot of volume to this pattern. So I'll still keep it pretty slim. It's going to cover up all the work that I've done so far. bring it back up to the top and now I can bring my ostrich through and for that I'm just going to take nice even wraps all the way up relatively close to one another and when I get to the top then I'll tie it off trim the excess now I can tie in what will be my thorax area, and for that I'm going to use an astaz, and this is a micro astaz or petite astaz. And I'm going to clip maybe a two inch section, and only that long because I need something to grab onto. I'll clean off just a bit of the material at the end so I have a tie in spot. I'm going to adjust my hook slightly, and now I can start to bring this through. And after every wrap, I'm going to try to pull this back so that I get the most amount of fiber so the wrap, the wrap after doesn't bind down the fibers before. So I'll take this and then I'll just tie it off. I'll trim off that excess. And I'm going to put in a couple of whip finishes here just to keep everything in place so I don't lose it. And while I have it in this position, I might just clean up around the eye here, those pieces of staz that got a little bit more forward. Okay, so now I can bring up my thin skin right up over the top, tie it off,
and trim the excess. So now I can just start to make my wraps up through and all I want to do here is just kind of wiggle it as I go through my ostrich so that it doesn't bind down any of those. Help it along when I can. And the same thing when I get to the estaz. Just want to wiggle it up through until I get to my my thread where I can tie it off. And I can whip finish here. And then trim the excess. And clean up my thread. And I'll just adjust it here so you can take a look. And that is my caddis larva. It's a little too woolly for you. You can trim up some of that estaz as well, shorten the legs.